Leonardo's AW609 Tilt Rotor progresses towards certification. Hello lovely YouTube family, welcome back to the Luxury Kingdom. Before we start, hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. It's been a long journey, but Rotocraft manufacturer Leonardo is making steady progress towards certification of the AW609, the world's first civil tilt rotor. The twin rotor aircraft, like the V-22 Osprey from which it is descended, has had a lengthy gestation period. Leonardo anticipates that the AW609 aircraft will be certified by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration in 2022, nearly two decades after the first test flight. About Leonardo SPA Leonardo SPA, formerly Fin Meccanica and Leonardo Fin Meccanica, is an Italian multinational corporation that specializes in aerospace, defense, and security. The company has 180 locations worldwide and is headquartered in Rome, Italy. Based on 2018 revenue, it is the world's eighth largest defense contractor. The Italian government owns a portion of the company, accounting for 30.2% of its shares and being its largest shareholder. Leonardo operates across 15 countries, with offices and industrial plants on five continents, and has its headquarters in Rome, Italy, and over 46,000 employees. It has a strong industrial presence in four major markets, Italy, the United Kingdom and the US, and Poland, as well as an extensive network of strategic partnerships in the world's most promising markets. Leonardo provides governments, institutions and citizens with a wide range of defense and security solutions that cover every possible intervention scenario – aerial and terrestrial, naval and maritime, space and cyberspace. The Leonardo operates through five divisions – aerostructures, aircraft, electronics, helicopters, cybersecurity. The AW609 Tilt Rotor The AW609 is a twin-engine tilt rotor aircraft that can take off like a helicopter but hover like a plane giving it greater speed and range than traditional helicopters. The AW609 Tilt Rotor's design combines rotorcraft functionality with a high-speed, long-range, fixed-wing aircraft. Because the aircraft can take off and land vertically, it can be used in remote or isolated areas. The main wing element is located above the top of the fuselage in a high-wing design. The tail assembly has a T-tail configuration, which means that two horizontal stabilizers are mounted on top of the vertical fin providing direction stability when flying in airplane mode. Two crewmen pilot the 14.1-meter-long, 11.7-meter-wide rotorcraft. The helicopter can carry a useful load of 2,860 kilograms and a standard fuel load of 1,166 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 8,165 kilograms. Its fully pressurized cabin has up to nine seats and can be configured to meet a variety of mission requirements. Leonardo, then known as Augusta, collaborated with Bell on the BA-609 project in 1998. It bought out Bell in 2011 to bring the 609 entirely in-house. The airframer has flown and tested four of the tilt rotor since then. The fifth unit, known as the P-5, recently rolled off the production line at the company's U.S. manufacturing facility in Philadelphia. Prior to its first flight, that aircraft will be used for indirect lighting effect tests. In response to a Reuters inquiry, an FAA representative stated that the agency does not comment on certification projects. Leonardo anticipates civil, government, and military demand for the AW609, which will be used for transportation to offshore oil and gas sites, search and rescue operations, border patrol, and surveillance. An AW609 prototype first flew in 2003, and four more have been built since then, including one that crashed in 2015, killing both pilots on board. Following the crash, Italy's Flight Safety Agency recommended aerodynamic and software changes to the aircraft. The Progress Leonardo is continuing to prepare for the commercialization of the world's first civil tilt rotor aircraft, which is now approaching type certification nearly two decades after its first flight. The AW609 is being prepared for production, training, and support at the company's North American headquarters in Philadelphia. The $80 million Leonardo Training Center will open its doors to the public this month with Level D full-flight simulators for the AW-139, 169, and 609. The FAA granted Part 142 certification to the facility, which is modeled after Leonardo's training academy in Sesto Calende, Italy, in mid-February. The new academy, which will be co-located with the company's engineering, support, and manufacturing teams for a variety of aircraft models, will soon include a maintenance training device for the 609. Leonardo also purchased an additional hangar just across the street from its main production facilities, a structure the company has been eyeing for more than a decade, 
to separate 609 production from the 119 and 139, both of which are ramping up due to successful bids for military contracts with the United States Air Force and Navy. Moving 609 productions to the new hangar will allow four or five of the winged aircraft to be worked on at the same time. The 609 projects, according to William Hunt, CEO of Leonardo in Philadelphia, have been critical in establishing the Philadelphia branch as a leading engineering presence within the company. We were able to persuade the parent company that as we move from a flight test program to final development and production, what better place to put the 609 than here in our active production lines, Hunt told Vertical during a February site visit. That put us on the map as a company engineering hub. According to Hunt, the Philadelphia facility has 85 engineers working on the 609 certification program at its peak, raising the level of expertise on site and assisting Leonardo in recruiting against Boeing, Sikorsky, Lockheed Martin, and other high-tech companies with a significant presence nearby. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.